Imagine this. You are a hunter living during the time of the Roman Empire. You go into the woods hoping to find some animal to bring back that will keep your family from going hungry in the long winter months. After walking around for a bit, you notice something strange in the distance. Something resembling a creature you've seen before. This creature is the Aklis, first documented by Pliny the Elder sometime in the first century AD. The Aklis appears to be an elk with a few key differences. Firstly, its upper lip was large and drooped over its mouth. Because of this, it had to eat backwards so the lip wouldn't get in the way of eating. Walking backwards was particularly difficult because its back legs had no joints. So instead, it waddled. Sleeping was another struggle. The Eclipse would either have to sleep standing up or leaning against something tall and hard like a tree. This made it extremely easy to hunt. Hunters would weaken the structure of the tree, and when an Eclipse would lean upon it, the tree snapped and they would fall over. Because of their back legs, this meant that they were an easy kill. Thank goodness for whatever that thing was, you say to yourself. Now, my family won't have to worry about food for a bit. As you begin home, you think about the creature, and can't help but feel some sympathy toward it. It was doomed to live a short life, so open to attack and defenseless. You shake that feeling off. Surely, this is a good thing. One animal dies to feed multiple. That's how the gods made it the way it has to be. It makes you feel better. We will eat in celebration of the gods, you yell aloud. We thank you for all you do. You walk back home, enjoy a nice meal, and feast in honor of the gods, the one that made your feast possible. So thank you, gods. This one goes out to you.